y'all welcome back to another edition of cooking with tisha from kane t's world <laughs> if you're new hit that subscribe button don't forget to like go ahead and like now don't wait go ahead and like because guess what i'm making today for y'all peach cobbler homemade um and i actually want to shout out d lowry um don't know if a lot of y'all know of her but i got this recipe from watching her so shout out to d lowry hey girl so i'm gonna make my peach cobbler so let's um start with what we need we need four cans of sliced peaches. I prefer a Del Monte brand. You get whatever brand you want. You're gonna need some butter. You're gonna need one cup. Um, you need sugar, brown sugar. You don't really need vanilla, but I'm gonna add a little bit. And then ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, and some uh, cooking spray. And of course, um, what you call it? A pan for your, you know, to put the dough out. And then you need a pan to boil your peaches. So we're gonna start with that. Turn this up. I'm gonna say medium heat. Start it off with medium heat. I'm gonna put my. Ooh, mm, I could just drink that juice right now. Oh, so we're gonna do four cans. I'm so excited about doing this recipe. I've been talking about doing this one for a long time. You sure have. Yeah, I really have. So, actually, we can turn it up a little more. Okay. Maybe you ready to eat some peach cobbler? And yes, we'll use the juice, y'all. Leave the juice in the can. I mean, not leave the juice in the can. Pour all the juice out with the peaches. There we go. All right, so that's four cans of peaches. I'm gonna rinse my hand real quick. Okay. Now, I'm gonna need one cup of sugar. Um, Oh, hold on, y'all. There's all those. See, that's not. Hold on. I have to press my sugar down with something. We don't want all the clumps and bumps. Make sure measurements off, okay? So one cup of sugar. So this is just regular sugar, y'all. Okay. So you're gonna add one cup of sugar. Same thing with the brown sugar. I know some people probably use dark. I had light. I use what I had. What's it on? Okay. Okay. Let me go over here with this one. Right back, y'all. One cup. Katie, are you excited? No. You're not excited for my. No. Katie. Hey. Dang. He said he's not excited, y'all. You want some peach cobbler? Okay, and then one cup. I'm going in y'all with the brown sugar. Okay, DK. Okay, so the there, I see. I'm gonna need that spoon in a minute, okay? Um one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Excuse me, baby, real quick. Make it easy. I'm just taking pop the top off. I think I'm add a little bit more, just a tiny bit more. Yes. What you think, Key? I like yeah, cinnamon. A bit more water, yeah. I like cinnamon. Okay. Yeah. So, and then also nutmeg. Now, nutmeg, you don't want to put more than one teaspoon. What is it? It's strong. So, we're going to do nutmeg. There we go. Can I get up in there? Okay. Okay. I definitely think that's enough nutmeg right there. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. All right. 
Oh, it smells good. Mm. Uh, Kavian, I need my spoon. You took it from me. Sorry, you guys. Stir that up. So what you're gonna do from here, you're gonna stir all this up, all that goodness, and you're gonna let it boil for a while. Okay? Stir. Y'all could smell this already? Oh my God. But how long are we gonna have to let it boil for you? Right? And you gotta let, you see how it's still kinda, you don't want that, right? You, you want this a little thick. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to keep your eye on it. I, could, I can't really tell you how long, but I can tell you, keep your eye on it, and let it boil. You know, so this is no, is not just, this is too, you don't want that in your pie. It's too wet. You want it a little sticky. So, we're gonna let that do its thing for a while. And while that, that's going, y'all, we're gonna start on the pie crust. Ooh, fun. Okay. Okay, we'll be right back, y'all. Have the pie crust ready for y'all. I forgot to tell you guys. Oh my God, how did I forget? Y'all need two of the pie crust um, from Pillsbury, okay? I forgot to tell you at the beginning, so let's get started with the crust. Yeah. Let's get started. Spray your pan. If you have baking um, spray, I would say use that. If not, just use regular spray. You wanna spray that really good. Okay, you don't, you don't want no sticky sticky. You don't want your um, dough to stick. Okay. Maybe I would eat it. Okay. All right, y'all. So we're gonna start with opening one. Have a seat, Kavian. Thank you. Start. I'm weird. I got some others. Really? <laughs> okay. No, don't pick that up, sir. All right. So we're just gonna unroll it. This is what it looks like when you unroll it. Okay. We're gonna stretch it a little bit. I'm just stretching a little bit more, y'all. Basically is what I'm doing. Cause we're gonna cover the whole pan, which is why I said get two boxes. Cause you're gonna need two boxes. Especially if you're gonna put like a nice lace on top, which is what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna spread that. Oh yeah, and also set your oven to 425. So I can do that too right now. There you go. I don't want to rip no hole in here, y'all. See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this on half of the pan because I'm gonna get another one. Okay. That's gonna sit nice and pretty, just like that. You get your second, do the same thing. Okay, just gonna do the exact same thing. Nothing to it but to do it. Open it and do it. I don't even seem like I, nope, I really don't. I don't even have to spread this, to be honest. It seems like I made, you think all those, I don't know, I might, I might have made way too much peaches. I might only have needed three cans, and if that's the case, some of it will just be in there. To stay in there. Okay, so that's that. So we're gonna put this to the side and wait for this to um, get a little thicker, and then we'll be back to y'all, okay? Okay, y'all, so we are back. Um, now look, look at this, it, it got thicker. See how it's just going, so that's what you want. So I'll say about 15 to 20 minutes on medium temperature is all you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off, okay? And uh, oh, and I added vanilla extract when the camera was off. I did add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a little bit of butter in here. So just wanted vanilla to let y'all, vanilla extract. Vanilla abstract? What the hell is vanilla abstract? abstract. <laughs> What are you Vanilla extract, okay, uh, just in case. Okay, oh my lord, right, y'all know okay. what I'm saying. Yeah, alright, okay, <laughs> clarify all right. things. So, like I said, that looks great, okay? I tasted it, it tastes amazing. Don't be afraid to taste it, just so you can make sure it's not too cinnamony or whatever the case may be. So anyway, um, I'm going to, I need to pour this actually. So let me pour this first, move this spoon. 
We're gonna pour this right onto here. And okay, y'all watching? Okay, move, baby. All right, that was perfect amount, I guess. All right. So pour it in there. I actually thought it was going like over, but that's perfect. So yeah, now we're going to do my lacing. Right. Woo, Lord. Okay, I'm all over the place. So with that, you just take one of your pie crusts, open one of your pie crusts up. Okay. Get you a knife. Basically, y'all, you're going to take your pie crust. Cause we're gonna make like a really pretty lace. That's what we're doing. Okay, all across. You feel like you can cut, you know, if you cut a little bit off so you know it will fit. That's fine. Make it how you wanna make it. And this will go in the oven for a whole hour and some change, maybe about like 15 minutes, but check it after an hour. That's what we doing around her, baby. Mm hmm So well, some are thicker than others, and that's okay. You gotta be perfect. That's why I said make sure to buy two things of pie crust. You definitely gonna need it. I'm gonna do do it that way too, but start with this side. What y'all think? Should I add some more? I can, I'm gonna go start going across now. So I'm gonna open my other pie crust. Just gonna move this over. I'm so excited. <laughs> hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey, hi. <laughs> Stuff bell pepper videos coming up soon too, right, Key? Yeah, but what are we putting in there? We gotta get the soup. I, the way that I've seen people do it, and y'all can comment below if I'm wrong, but basically you can use whatever ground, like turkey, chicken, ground beef. And then you make your ground beef, you season it how you want. Am I doing this right? You, um, see, yeah, you too. Then you add cooked rice with the ground beef and stewed tomatoes. I, that's what I'm seeing. I don't know if I'm wrong or right, but. Um, yeah, and baking it, of course. Okay, so over there you can just take what? Take you some. Trying to make it look somewhat decent. Okay. Like that. You see what I'm saying? Y'all can do that. It's nothing wrong to do that. Like that. Boom. Need another piece right here. Okay, then we get a longer piece for that one over there. Okay, so that's what I decided to do. I don't have a brush for butter, so let me heat up a little bit of butter real quick. Use a tube brush. Actually, <laughs> yeah, we don't have a little a brush. Look at that. Good. And because I'm because good. I like to be a little extra, I'm just gonna put a little bit of cinnamon, make it look real. Y'all yeah, know what I'm saying? Look, yeah, put a little cinnamon up there. How does that look? Here? Put some more on there. 
more. There's a lot in the thing. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. I hope this don't mess. I don't want it to mess up the recipe. How much butter? I, what I'll do is drizzle it, y'all, with a spoon because we don't have a brush, unfortunately. Get one. We can get that from Dollar Tree, like you say. We'll get one. All right, y'all. So I'm back. We're gonna drizzle some butter on top like this. I recommend you, you know, obviously if you have the brush, use the brush, of course. Butter never hurt nobody though, so we all right. Just trying to get over that crust, cause you want a nice golden crust. Mm. Hmm. Get butter all over that. Yes. Yes, Lord. On a Sunday, honey. <laughs> <laughs> mm. This is how I really act, y'all. I'm crazy, so I ask him. Yeah, she definitely ain't lying, y'all. And people who know me that watch my channel, shout out to y'all, like, know me, know me, person. Y'all know I'm crazy. So this ain't nothing new to them. All right. So that's that. And we're going to pop this in the oven on 425, y'all. Okay? 425 for an hour. Okay? It could be longer than an hour, but we're going to check it after an hour. So we'll be back to y'all. All right, y'all. Look at this, y'all. Look. Peach cobbler looks amazing. And I'm sure it's going to taste amazing. Okay. And let me tell y'all. This did not need an hour. Okay. Y'all see how brown and crisp that is. It's bubbling. I had this in here for about 45 minutes. So maybe people's oven temperatures were different. Or maybe some people got older ovens. but <clears throat> Or whatever the case may be. So 45 minutes. Look at that y'all. Okay. So. Um, don't forget to like the video share the video man subscribe hit the post notification bell and um post notification ugh, lord let me get it out post notification shout out goes to betty brown hey betty brown girl you are always commenting on our videos thank you for all your support and love we truly truly appreciate it so don't forget to like comment and share y'all um i'll probably throw in a clip at the end of keon trying it for y'all so we're gonna let this cool down do his thing but it looks freaking amazing do y'all see that oh yes Look at that bubbling, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, like I said, I'll probably add in the clip, okay? There we go. One last. Look at that. Butter. Got it nice and gold and everything. Alright, y'all. As promised, clip of Keon trying the peach cobbler. Mm -mm -mm. He added some whipped cream to it. So, here he goes. See what he said. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about put your body into it. You know what tastes good when you do that. Mm mm. Mm. Tastes good. Crust nice and buttery. Damn yeah, right. What are you put in there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So he likes it. Don't forget to share this. Man, share this video, y'all, with your friends and family. Everybody don't know how to make a simple peach cobbler. Man, you put your whole foot in this. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. So you trying to say I could sell some though, okay? People are gonna be like, "Oh my God, T-shirt, what?" Oh yeah, line them up. <laughs> All right, y'all, we out. We out.